Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hello everyone. <clears throat> the government is getting tough on benefit fraudsters. So they are stealing, deceiving the public out of their money, making them all homeless under the pretense that there's a huge amount of benefit fraudsters all over the country. Bollocks. <clears throat> anyway, I wanted to give you a quick update on Universal Credit, although there's not much update to give other than what a tyrannical thing that is and it needs to be gotten rid of immediately. Also, an update on some of the comments. A lot 99.9% .9 of you agree with whatever I made in the last video. Um, some very few people made some comments which is just unbelievable i don't want to expose them if you want to see how unbelievably stupid some human beings are just go and read the comments <clears throat> anyway while the people of this country suffer and they blame people who work were struggling but yet they still work and eventually do get up the ladder and do get better jobs. A lot of the people, from what I can see, are being kept below working in a certain level by the very clever, manipulative, well, at the moment, Tory government. Um, which is nothing new in democracy, because there's a lot of idiots uh, who go into power and they just do things for themselves. Um, divide and conquer, keep the weak weak, kind of thing. But anyway, I came across this... Um, article newspaper article and do you know what this is amazing if you really want to see why this country is in trouble you all you have to do is look at the wealthy and look at the media when it suits them um when it suits their agenda of how and what they write to manipulate and deceive the poor man <clears throat> anyway so this is by Piers Morgan, uh, who wrote in the Daily You can go and check it online. You can, well, you can see the um, uh, thing. I'll, I'll try to put a link on it in the uh, section below. Before I start, like, subscribe, please, if you will. Comment, good or bad, but do keep it at a level. And keep racism out of it. If you think you're privileged because you're white or black or whatever, get the hell off my page. You're a human being, you're going to die like everybody else. Simple as that. When your time comes, that is. Right, anyway. This is about... Harry and Meghan. King and Queen of Africa. You need to read this article. And you need to see what they have blown. How much money the taxpayer has paid for this charade of a King and Queen nonsense. Right? You know, I was sickened by it. My stomach nearly turned at the amount of taxpayer money that's been used for these already rich people. Then you have, uh, well, let's not mention Kate Middleton and her hubby before all this and how much was spent there. And then they have the nerve to get people like Ian Duncan Smith make universal credit and then blame the public... Ian Duncan Smith, a dirty, dirty man. Anyway, look at this. Let's look at this. I'm going to read a, a little bit of it. You lot can go and read the link and find out about it. Right, I'm just going to go through, um, basically, the expenditure. Because I don't have much time at the moment. Right, oh God, I can't. look at that. How disgusting is that? Rich woman hugging a black person. And, by the way, don't be fooled by the media depiction of um, the continent of Africa. The continent of Africa has some poor countries in it, but they have some rich countries in it who are living better than us. They have systems that are better than us, which the media in this country fail to show you. When they say Africa, all of Africa isn't poor. They have got countries where they actually win awards because there's no litter on the bloody land. They've got buildings and things that you probably, your eyes have never ever seen. They have got systems that are far better than us, but they're deceiving us into thinking, oh, when you think of Africa, think of poor. The only ones in Africa that are poor is because we 
have put cash crops on them. We, the West, have put cash crops on them. We rob them blind. Okay? That's the reason they are like that. And we do that because if we don't do that, in England, you will not get your goddamn coffee at that bloody price. So if you do, if you don't understand what cash crops are, Google it. Learn about what cash crops are. Right, anyway, this is just sickening. A white woman hugging the poor black person. White privilege. Just disgusting. Oh my God, look at that. Now, anyway, you, when you read this out, you'll understand about this um, Markle person. Right. 24-7 security. Because these two actually want to go to Africa and become the king and queens there because apparently they have a rift with Kate Middleton and Harry. Right? So, since marrying into the British Royal Family, she's already shown a gleeful prospect for spending money in a manner so extravagant she's been dubbed Meghan Antoinette in honour of the infamously over-the-top 18th century French queen. There was a wedding to Harry a year ago estimated to have cost £40 million pounds including a five hundred thousand pound claire white weight whatever claire white keller wedding dress that was mostly financed by the british taxpayers so when you the british taxpayer wants to moan about poor people who are working who are struggling but working i'm not going to involve the dis uh, people who are on disability things because it is our job to look after them simple as that don't even involve them. Don't involve the elderly. It is our job to look after them. The taxpayer who moans about that and wants to put sanctions on people of this country are in trouble and yet they go around giving Her Royal Highness £40 million pounds and then 500000 Do you know what? There's people in this country who can't afford to get bloody married. Then, after that, it doesn't end there. There was an absurdly lavish recent five-day £500,000 baby shower at a five-star hotel in New York, brimming with celebrities, private jazz, paparazzi, half-fet, for gifts for the less fortunate. Oh. Right, let's scroll down. Scroll down. Much of the tab was picked up by her millionaire mate, Serena Williams and Amal Clooney, lunatics. But British, pay, but British taxpayers paid for her security team. To accompany her and the optics were horribly inappropriate at a time when Meghan and Harry had literally just tweeted from their Kensington Palace account asking people to remember the poor, saying 73% of the poorest families cannot always afford to feed their children during the school holidays, a gap which is estimated to affect 3 million across the UK. Yes, you heard it, UK. Not Africa, UK. To emphasise just how much the poor were on Megan's mind during her baby shower orgy of opulence, a website for La Dore boasted with stupendous irony how its signature 350 euro Macron Towers for £75,000 a day penthouse party evoked the Parisian glamour and elegance that Marie Antoinette would approve of. And um, let me see. God, she probably would have said that as well, let them eat cake. If, that, if she's actually now. Now, then there's the massive ongoing refurbishment of the couple's luxury new home. Frogmore Cottage near Windsor Castle, a gift from the Queen. Lord knows how wealthy that woman is hoarding all that money. That is already thought to have cost over £4 million. That's taxpayer money. The work reportedly includes, get this out, this is for two people, an expansive yoga studio, an elaborate gone with the wind style double staircase, grand new fireplaces and vegan eucalyptus infused paint for the baby's nursery. Where does most of the money to pay for all this come from? Once again, the British taxpayer. Now we have the Grand African plan. <coughs> Excuse me. It was reported by the Sunday Times that Meghan and Harry's courtiers came up with the idea because they are, con they are concerned about the sheer scale of the couple's fame and power. There are discussions in 
palace circles about how do we harness Harry and Meghan and this tremendous global attention they get, said Ron Palance source. The source added there were serious fears Meghan could become bigger than Princess Diana. Yeah, exactly. What a low hype baloney. Oh God, you know, I just don't want to read the rest of this absolute sickening. Well, children in the UK starve, millions of them. Take a look at this picture and stop looking at the poor. Stop falling for the media attention of Muslims and then Christians. Look at this picture. These are the people hoarding your money. And the less I say about these priests, the better. Now, anyway, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to leave a link so you can actually read uh, this article down there. Um, sadly, it's in the Daily Mail, a paper I bloody hate anyway. Right-wing lunatics. But anyway, read it. You know, it doesn't mean they always post everything bad. They do, on the very rare occasion, they do post the right articles. Um, <clears throat> so anyway... I'm going to end it there, but a little bit about the universal um, credit, which I um, was going to say. I should have said it first, actually. It just really slipped my mind what it was. Um, update on the universal credit. Sod all. It's still going on as normal. Everybody seems to ignore the amount of people who are being uh, made to go to food banks. And I read a recent article that they found that the actual government has been telling DUP, DWP staff to not to record the people, the amount of people that they send to food banks. Doesn't that tell you something of the criminal activity going on in there? Simple fact of the matter is universal credit needs to be gone. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. When you claim universal credit, you need to understand universal credit is your money. Do you understand? When you claim it, it is your money. And the government and the media seem to ignore this fact and they don't want to mention this. When you are working and you are paying tax, money is taken from there and put aside for people who are actually struggling. That includes you when you, if you ever get to a certain state in that position. Eventually, when you get old enough, if you live to be older and you get a pension, you get that money back. This money is your money. Don't fall for the trap of the way that this lunatic in Duncan Smith has made this so people believe that it is not your money. It is your money in the first place to claim when you're in difficulty and it is our job, whether you like it or not, when you live in a society like this, okay, although they are not fully following rules and regulation, it is our job as human beings to look after people who cannot work, who are disabled, okay, who are ill, who do fall upon struggling times, okay, and if you don't know how that feels, go find somebody who's poor, have a chat with him and give him a five after the chat and watch how you feel, you'll feel like a human being, you feel happy even though if you had a load of crap at home, the fact that you've helped someone, it should make you feel good. If it doesn't, you've got some issues. You need to go and see a doctor yourself. Anyway, with all that in mind, I'll hopefully make another video very, very soon. Please like and su subscribe. I'm not a internet genius to make these videos like these other people do it um, in time, perhaps. But I'm just speaking my mind and hopefully the British people... In the United Kingdom, I am a UK citizen, do understand to keep away from a lot of the things that they show on the media about hate, where they're trying to, I put it as divide and conquer. We live in a society where you are of different colours, different religions, and we have to coexist. Do you understand? There's no way about it. I do not believe a lot of the attacks that are happening about the way the media portrays it, about who did it, why, and everything else, because I think it's a lot of bollocks. Do you understand? I don't even trust our own government. I can turn around and say, do you know what, maybe they're doing it. I don't know. That's as far as my knowledge goes. But anyway, people keep safe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.